If you're looking for Madden 19 Ultimate Team coins, be sure to head over to muttcoin.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for an 8% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here, back again, bringing you guys another Madden 19 Ultimate Team Mutt Squads video. Got Ryan and Nick on the team, Madden 12 Mutt Team, if you guys don't know. Uh, he is one of the top solo battle players. Pretty damn good Madden player, and obviously you guys know Ryan915 from YouTube as well. We're matched up against a pretty good trio here. Their team wasn't spectacular, but it was decent enough, and they were actually a pretty challenging opponent for us. You guys are going to see pretty early in this game, though, we do get out to a lead here. Great runs here by Nick. Nice little pick up there with Saquon Barkley, 17 yards on the first play of the game. Second play, pretty much the same exact setup, but we fake him out and look deep here down the sidelines. Had a man, and Carson Wentz gets the throwing on the run and for whatever reason back to the run on third down on the same formation and they do stop it this time so it brings up a third and long here about a third and 12 and we're looking down the field on this one finding a man in the flat do not pick up the first down though Saquon Barkley is unable to get there we do decide to go for it on fourth down because we're at about midfield and we've got two guys wide open I decide to stop drop back get the block and Ryan gets into the end zone with Odell Beckham Jr big play for us there on fourth down so a first drive touchdown now, the ensuing kickoff, you do not kick to Tyreek Hill. They pulled a guy off the screen. That's how ridiculous this blocking was, and what a juke by that guy, too. You have to give him credit. I, I give full props to whichever one of their players is returning that because that was a nasty juke, and he does get into the end zone. But look at that. They had, had what, nine guys against our, because they obviously have one returner, nine guys actually blocking against our team. And we did still weren't able to even touch him at any point. We do get the ball back, though, and it is Saquon Barkley juking down the field. Another big pickup. Three rushes, 33 yards at that point. We had two big pickups and the one, obviously, where we got stopped in the backfield. Looking down the field again here into double coverage, though, and Nick is going to throw an interception. That was a really great pick, but... We do get the ball. They, or I should say, we do stop them down at the three yard line. So, this is actually not a great situation for the opposing team. And they're back on offense now, looking down the field, and he throws a pick out of his own end zone. So, we're at the 16 yard line now, looking to take the lead in this football game. Big play there by Champ Bailey. Love it. First play back on offense now, and we unfortunately take a sack there. Sets up now a long second and 16. We decided that we were going to actually run on this play because we figured we might be able to catch them off guard, but nope, they just get some crazy block sheds. Look at that. Just beautiful tackles in the backfield there. So unfortunately, it's now sets up a third and 18, and we either have to try and basically go to the end zone or just try and set something up to go for a field goal. But what ends up happening here is that our quarterback's connection, Madden 12 Mutt team, starts to go out. And you can see it's starting to glitch. And bye-bye, Nick. You're gone. Unfortunately, we lose our quarterback. So he had already picked a play. And it gives me just a crazy setup. But I, we do get it into the halfback wheel, which is our preferred offensive play here, even in Mutt squads. So we set it up a third and 18, looking down the field now. And I'm stepping up into the pocket. Got Ryan down there at the goal line nearly. And we pick up a huge first down. Set, sets up now a first and goal at the four. Ryan's going to take the ball and carry it up to about the three yard line so a short gain there we're gonna run it one more time here back up the middle there and we take it to the outside though this time beautiful setup and we do get the touchdown so that actually didn't end up being too bad nick getting disconnected didn't kill us on offense on that drive i was able to make a clutch throw there which i'm actually pretty surprised by because i do not play a lot of offense on squads but the opposing team back on offense now and they're going to start to take advantage of the fact that we only have two users but we get a huge big hit there i think that was bob Bobby Wagner, who forced the fumble, that sets us up on their side of the field once again, and we're picking up nice yardage here. Ricky Williams says, say you right through the two users. Beautiful spin move. That was me, by the way. Yeah, I'll, I'll take credit for that. Yeah, yeah. And we get a little bit of user lag here, or user input lag, I should say. Unfortunately, I, I, I missed the extra point, and that could potentially come back to cost us because we're up 20 to 7 at this point, but that's only 13 points. It's not two full touchdowns with extra points. And look at that animation that we get. Champ Bailey goes for the interception. Doesn't get it, but he does end up pulling him down from behind, thankfully. But the quarterback, one of two, 57 yards with a pick. Yeah, that probably could have been another interception there, but he's going to go to the flat this time. And I do break off of my guy in coverage and make a nice play there in the flats. 
Looking down the field one more time here. He breaks a sack with Mike Vick, scrambles to the left, and we've got everybody blanketed. Everybody's blanketed. Ryan's trying to set him up to throw the user pick, and unfortunately, he makes an amazing pass there into traffic. Mike Vick now taking off and running on the design QB run, sets up another uh, play there. They go for a QB sneak, and then they get the QB sneak for the touchdown on the second try. So yeah, they are able to go, and they bring it within one touchdown here, make it 14 to 20. Now, second half, they, they we had like two seconds left, basically, so he didn't do anything on offense. Second half, look at the nice play there by their Ricky Williams out of the backfield, making a big play, breaking the tackle on the defender, and now... We are in a really tough situation because we have to stop them and look at them. They're making the big passes down the field into the seams. I just wasn't able to cover as many guys as they sent over there. And now he's taken off with Vic again. This guy is a crazy quarterback, not sliding there until the very end, juking my user out. Or actually, I think that was Ryan's user that got juked maybe. But either way, the next play, he gets into the end zone again. Another quarterback run touchdown and they take the lead. At this point, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was kind of freaking out because I was getting so frustrated that we weren't able to stop him on defense and also the fact that I just am not comfortable playing quarterback. So fourth and two here, this is a huge play and Ryan finds an opening in the defense, makes the possession catch. Huge, huge play there by Ryan. You have to give him credit. He was able to come up in the clutch and I found him in the open field. Third and 14 now after some stuffed runs, and we've got to pick up the first down here to get ourselves into position. Ryan again looking, looking, and he is not able to make the catch this time. Their defender stepped in front of it, Casey Hayward, with a huge play defensively. So they have the ball near the end of the third quarter here and the lead by one. Mike Vick looking down the field, and this time he makes a poor decision. We get the interception with our defender. It looked like some open field there, but they do have their receivers coming from the opposite side, and they make the tackle. So midfield now at about the 45-yard line, making the runs up the middle. We've got to get into field goal range at least to take the lead here on this drive, hopefully. And we're finding guys out of the backfield looking, looking, looking. Firing it down the field here to a wide open Ryan. Odell Beckham Jr., his second touchdown of this game. Big play. So now we've got to set up here to try and get a seven-point lead. The five-point lead doesn't really help us. Neither does the six-point lead, really. And I throw it right to Ryan, and for some reason, he gets a weird animation where he doesn't catch it. I don't know. Delaney Walker just screwed us there. That should have been a seven-point lead. But they're back on offense, and we get the pick huge defensive play I don't even know how Deion Jones made that catch but that was an unbelievable play so we're back in range here if we get a field goal we're gonna go up by eight points which should be enough for us to win this football game but if we don't get the field goal we're still gonna be having to give them back the ball so we're trying basically to set this up and we do end up getting the field goal drain a bunch of clock get it below the two minute warning make them use a timeout so we're in good shape here with an eight point lead gotta make some plays defensively here though we've struggled other than making those interceptions, and their design QB runs are working. I am not going to lie. Vic did fumble the ball once, but he's done very well besides that. Sitting in the pocket this time, and he's going to look down the field, and Bryant Young out of the quarterback spy nearly gets the interception. That would have been his fourth pick of the game, but a defensive tackle just does not have the type of hands that you need to get those types of interceptions. So Vic, third and five, looking down the field. He's got Zach Ertz sprinting to a wide open spot, and also Antonio Brown underneath he does make the completion to Brown coming from the right side of the field. Really great read there by Mike Vick. He had two receivers open, though. We really can't do much about that. I mean, we probably could have covered one of them, but not two. That time, I don't know what happened. I pulled off my route to try and get over there, and for some reason, I got zero animation, and he didn't get the interception. Third and 11, though, he fires it into traffic, and Champ Bailey puts the final nail in the coffin, and we do get the win here in this one, and that is going to do it. That was a really close game. I had to come back and make a really valiant effort, I guess, at quarterback. Like I said, I'm not comfortable playing quarterback, so I was really happy with the way that we played. I threw one interception, but it was a really close one. I don't think it was really that bad of a read. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on it, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys are liking the Mutt Squad's videos, let me know in the comment section below. This is really my favorite game mode in Madden. I'm really hoping that they're going to do something to bring some sort of like private 
Madden Ultimate Team squads mode. I mean, like a, a play a friend type of thing so that we can maybe set up like a, a tournament or something like that. I really think that that would be one of the biggest improvements that they could make to Madden this year. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you think about that. Would you guys be more likely to play Mutt squads if you could like match up against the three of us or something like that? If we could do a live stream where we play a whole bunch of uh, people that are, you know, subscribers and things like that, because that's what I think I want to do. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you think of that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.